What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach. In today's video, we're answering the question of how do you find all of the first characters of a of each of the words in a sentence? So we're going to be working with this very simple sentence with just two um, words and then another one that has varying lengths of words. So without further ado, let's hop right and start coding. So as a recap, in a pre previous video, I talked about how you can get the first character of a string by simply using indexing. So to do so, I would simply do something like print and then I'd say string one and then I use the bracket operator operator, which allowed me to go through each and every single character within a string. And I can just say like, if I wanted to get the, the first character, I'd use uh, zero because Python is a zero based programming language, meaning that everything will start with zero and then increment up from there. Um, so the first letter should ideally be index of zero. And if I go ahead and run this, you'll see that I get an H. Now, if I wanted to uh, get the second letter, I would simply say that's a one and then replace that. And I, now I get the E, which is the second one, right? So if we go back to the zero, cause we're trying to get the first letter or first character of each word within a string, I could also just continually go and do indexing. And I could say, well, for string one, the next character or the next word or next first letter is this W. And so to get that, I need to count the, the, the number of indexes to the W, right? So I'd say zero for the H, one, two, three, four, five, got to include the space, six is the W. So if I go here and change that to zero out for a six, now what we should see print out is H and W. So if we go that, we get H and W. But you can see how this becomes very tedious because when I get to this string two, I have to go through and count every single index to get the W, that lowercase t, the capital K, the capital C, and the capital D, right? But what if this wasn't just you know one, two, three, four words within this string or two words within within the string? What if you got or reading a string that was like a paragraph from a book? You wouldn't want to necessarily go through and use indexing to get this because then you'd have to go through and count out every single index of where those first letters of those words are. So let's talk about a trick that you can use or a function you can use with strings that allows you to simply get the words. And then from that, you can use indexing to get their first letters. So let's hop right in and start talking about that. So that trick that I mentioned that helps us and saves us a lot of time. So we don't have to count through every single, you know, character within a giant paragraph is simply using the split function in Python. So what the split function allows us to do is if I go ahead and say print, and I'm going to start using string two and I say string two dot split. What it does is returns a list of the words in the string. And then you can pass in a, a string sub or basically you can pass in a substring within that string that you want to split on. So if I wanted to split on uh, spaces, I could have simply just type in an, a single space. Like if I just want to split, uh, split on single spaces, I want to do that. If I want to do double spaces, I could do that. If I wanted to split on uh, O's, I could do that. And let's show you what this does. So if I do a single space and I go ahead and print this, what you'll see is there's the indexing, indexing method we use for the first one. But now look at this. I have a simply created a list of every single word that was in string two. So now from here, I could simply loop through that list and use a, use a for loop or use list comprehension if you're familiar with that and grab every single index zero of a word. So for example, what that might look like because I could say for word in string two dot split, and I want to split on single spaces. So, and it doesn't matter here if you use a double quote or a single quote. Um, and then I go here and I just simply say, I can print out that word. So we'll just do this really quick. We'll just print out the word. And now what you'll see is I'm just going to print out each and bring this up here. So now what you'll see is I'm just going to print out every single word, right? So from here, if I know that I have the exact word and I just now need to need the first letter, all I simply need to do is do something like this. And this should return the W, the T, the capital C, and the capital D. So you can also combine this into doing something like, hey, I want to do, create a list. So if you want, if you, maybe maybe you needed to take this and create a list of, of the first characters, you could, like I mentioned, use list comprehension and you could say word. So I could say print and I'm gonna do create, actually we'll do this. We'll create the list and then I'll do it. So I'll say first letters is equal to, I'm gonna say word of zero, because that's what we did here. This is what we're gonna put out. Um, for word in string two, dot split and then splitting on spaces, right? So what this is going to do is basically this is the same syntax that we did right here for this comprehension. And then this part right here comes down and you put it right in front, right? So what this will return, uh, let me go ahead and print this out. Print first, first letters. And if I go ahead and print this, you'll see that there's my print method of me basically printing out each word going through this normal for loop. And then here is my list that I created using list comprehension to, sim 
simply create a list of all the first letters of within my string. So that is a method, or those are two different methods. You can go the indexing route, which makes it really hard and you have to manually count. And you, the thing about indexing is you have to manually know and count up all the index locations of those first word or those first characters within each of those words. The method here that we're using is we're splitting on a space because we know that in a pair or in a you know paragraph or a sentence, ideally, things are separated by spaces. And so if we if we know that going into it, or if we know that our, you know, our, the, the data that we're dealing with or the string that we're dealing with is separated by spaces, Ideally, we can leverage that information to say, okay, well, let's create, let's split on those. So that'll give us every single, a list of every single word. And then I can just loop through that and grab all of my first letters. So I hope that you found this helpful. And if you did, please leave a like or a comment below asking other questions or further explanation. And until next time, keep on programming.